Carolina Geraldo Navarro, born February 14, 1991, known professionally as Carol G., is a Colombian singer. Considered one of the most influential reggaeton and urban pop artists, she has received awards including a Grammy, five Latin Grammy Awards, and four Billboard Music Awards. She was recognized with the Woman of the Year and Rule Breaker Award at the Billboard Women in Music, with the Spirit of Hope Award at the Billboard Latin Music Awards, and has five Guinness World Records. Born and raised in Medellin, Geraldo launched her career as a teenager, appearing on the Colombian spin-off of The X Factor. She moved to New York in 2014 to learn more about the music industry and signed with Universal Music Latino. Her collaboration with Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny, Aura Mi Lama, became her breakthrough hit and was the third single for her debut album Unstoppable, released in 2017. In late 2018, her duet Secreto became a hit in Latin America, as she and Puerto Rican artist Annual AA publicly confirmed their relationship via the music video. In July 2019, she released China in collaboration with Annual AA, Daddy Yankee, Ozuna, and J Balvin, which became her first music video with over 1 billion views on YouTube. In May 2019, she released the album Ocean, which served as a stylistic departure from Unstoppable, incorporating a more relaxed and less pop sound while incorporating reggaeton influences. Popular singles from the album include the title track, later released as a remix with Jesse Reyes. Later that year, her song, Tusa charted internationally and was certified 28 times Latin Platinum by the RIAA. In 2020, Geraldo received four nominations at the Latin Grammy Awards. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and into early 2021, she would release successful songs, including some of her most famous, I, Dios Mio, by Coda and Location, in the lead-up to her third album, KG0516, which was released in spring of that year, topping the U.S. Latin Albums chart. Geraldo released her fourth album, Manana Sara Benito, in the spring of 2023. The record was immediately recognized as the first-ever Spanish-language album, by a female artist, to debut at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200. She achieved her highest-charting single on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 with the song TQG a collaboration with fellow Colombian singer-songwriter Shakira, reaching the number 7 position. In early 2024, she received her first Grammy Award, at the 66th Annual Ceremony, for the recently created Musica Urbana album category. Early Life Carolina Geraldo Navarro was born on February 14, 1991 in Medellin, the youngest child of three children. At age 14, she appeared on L Factor X. Geraldo posted covers of songs by Alicia Keys and Lauren Hill on YouTube, in hopes of being discovered like Justin Bieber. Ultimately, she obtained her first record contract with Flamingo Records, Colombia, and Diamond Music, Puerto Rico, and chose Carol G. as her artistic name. She performed with J Balvin at a Quinceanera party soon after. Musical career 2007-2016, Beginnings Carol G. in 2016 In the following years, Geraldo recorded and released songs sporadically, including En La Playa, On the Beach, in 2007, Poor T, For You, in 2008, Dime KC, Tell Me Yes, in 2009, and Mil Maneras, A Thousand Ways, in 2010. She studied music at the University of Antioquia and sang backup for other artists during her studies, including Raycon, recording the songs To Jagit, Your Toy, in 2011, and 301 in 2012. Shortly after, she traveled to Miami to meet with Universal Records, who declined to sign her at the time, insinuating that a woman would not be successful in the reggaeton genre. In response to Universal Music's rejection, Geraldo and her father decided to promote her career independently, touring domestically across Colombia at colleges, clubs, and festivals. She recalled, I always said that if we'd made money per miles, we'd be millionaires. It was a long process, and because of it, I can truly enjoy what's happening now. The increased publicity through these tours led to her 2013 collaboration with Nicky Jam on the song Amor de Dos, The Love of Two. However, finding that her music career was not progressing fast enough in South America, a disillusioned Geraldo moved to New York in 2014 to work and stay with her aunt. 
Feeling somewhat lost over her lack of success at the time, she later said that when taking the NYC subway each day, to and from work, she would see various advertisements offering educational courses and certifications for the music business. Taking this as a sign, Geraldo eventually decided to enroll in music business administration classes. The decision helped reinvigorate her passion for music, motivating her to continue furthering her career. Her 2014 dancehall song Ricos Besos, Sweet Kisses, became a hit in Colombia. By 2016, she signed with Universal Music Latino during that year. She released the singles, Casi Nada, Almost Nothing, Hello with Then Rising Star Ozuna, and Munico de Lego, Lego Doll, as lead-ups to her album release. 2017-2018, Breakthrough Success and Unstoppable. Carol G. in 2018. In January 2017, Carol G. joined the reality talent show Pequeños Gigantes USA, Little Giants, as a judge, offering advice to children 6 to 11 years of age who performed on the show. In February, she released the breakup song A Ella, to her, a song inspired by real life events. In May, her collaboration with Puerto Rican trap artist Bad Bunny Aura Mi Lama, Now He Calls Me, became regarded as her breakthrough hit. The video garnered more than 1 billion views on YouTube and reached number 10 on the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart. The song was described by Marty Preciado of NPR as a bass-heavy, unapologetic trap anthem to the power of femininity, soiled in hi-hats and heavy sub-bass, that challenges hegemonic masculinity, singing about respect, love and sex-positive. Decisions According to a clean Luzmala Carabao of Rolling Stone, it was then that Geraldo joined the increasingly global pop urbana wave and established herself as one of its most standout acts. Aura Mi Lama was listed on Alt Latino's Favorites, the songs of 2017 as one of the best Latin songs of 2017. Aura Mi Lama served as the main single, including a remix featuring Quavo from Migos, for her debut studio album, Unstoppable. The record also contained the three aforementioned singles, and was released in October 2017, debuting at number two on the Billboard Top Latin Albums chart. Tom Jurek of All Music called Unstoppable the first solid entry by a woman in the Latin trap movement. In March 2018, the singer released the Jungle-inspired music video for her single Pineapple Dot in that same month. She was announced as a nominee for the Billboard Latin Music Awards Top Female Artist of the Year. On April 6, 2018, Carol G. collaborated with Argentine singer and songwriter Tini on the song Princesa, from Tini's second studio album Quiero Volver. In May 2018, she released Mi Cama, My Bed, which became a commercial success. This was followed by Culpables, Guilty Ones, featuring Puerto Rican rapper and eventual partner, Annual Double A. Culpables peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart and a remix of Mi Kama, featuring her early collaborators Jay Balvin and Nicky Jam, peaked at number 6 on the same chart. 2019-2021, Ocean and KG0516 Carol G. in 2019 In January 2019, the singer released the single Secreto, Secret, with Puerto Rican rapper Annual Double A. The song's accompanying music video confirmed the rumored romantic relationship between the two artists. The single reached number 68 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 5 on the U.S. Hot Latin Songs charts. The song was inspired by the period of time in which Annual AA and Carol G were dating but had not yet publicly discussed their relationship. The video's power couple aesthetic garnered comparisons to Beyoncé and Jay-Z as well as Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, Carol released the album Ocean on May 3, 2019. The album was inspired by a moment of peace and relaxation she experienced at the beach on the Spanish Canary Island of Tenerife. She traveled to the beaches of the Turks and Caicos Islands, as well as St. Martin, to draw further inspiration for the album. Elias Late of Rolling Stone reviewed the album by stating, the power of Ocean is somewhat diminished by the fact that a third of these songs are already out but opined that the remaining tracks are impressively varied. In July 2019, Carol G. collaborated with Annual AA, Daddy Yankee, Ozuna, and Jay Balvin for the song, China. The song samples, and is based on, singer Shaggy's 2000 hit, It Wasn't Me. China debuted at number two on Billboard's Hot Latin Songs chart on the issue dated August 3, 2019, 
and topped both the Latin Digital Songs and Latin Streaming Songs charts with 1,000 downloads sold and 14.1 million streams. China was included on the Rolling Stone list of the 10 best Latin music videos of July. Carol G. premiered the song on American television on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on 10 January 2020. The song reached number one on the Billboard Hot Latin Songs chart on November 23, 2019, and stayed on the chart for 25 weeks. Carol G. released Tusa, the first single from her album KG0516, on November 7, 2019. Tusa, a reggaeton song featuring Nicki Minaj, became a commercial success, eventually being nominated for Record of the Year and Song of the Year at the 21st Annual Latin Grammy Awards. In April 2020, Carol G. released the single and video for Follow with Annual AA, recording its entirety while in quarantine in Miami due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She also collaborated with the Jonas Brothers on the flirtatious song X, which first appeared in the end credits of the group's documentary film Happiness Continues. Carol G. and the Jonas Brothers filmed the song's accompanying music video on their iPhones, using the combined footage as a clever way to get around the obvious. Challenge of trying to film a music video during the COVID-19 crisis. In October, by Coda was released as the album's official lead single, becoming viral online. On March 17, 2021, Carol G. announced the release of her upcoming album as well as its release date and cover art through a half-minute video. The tracklist was announced on 22 March, and on March 26, KG0516 was released. Carol G. released Sejodioto on September 21, 2021. The song became a commercial success and was nominated for Record of the Year and Song of the Year. In October 2021, Carol G. teamed up with Smirnoff for their Sabor for the People campaign. As part of the deal, her Bicota tour was presented by Smirnoff. 2021, Present, Manana Sara Benito on February 14, 2022, Carol G. and Crocs announced a partnership by unveiling two different shoe silhouettes. I in April 2022, Provenza was released as the lead single of the then unannounced album, Manana Sara Benito, becoming viral online. The title refers to a neighborhood of Medellin called Provenza. Da. I in August 2022, Carol G. released Gatabila alongside Puerto Rican rapper Maldi from reggaeton duo Plan B. The song features a beat characteristic of old-school, 2000s reggaeton, with a dembo rhythm. Its music video was initially banned online in certain countries for being sexually provocative, though it was later made available as no actual nudity is seen. The video also takes some inspiration from older horror movies, as her prowling Catwoman character can be seen covered in blood at the end, and is the first to show off Carol G's dyed red hair. On February 19, 2023, Carol G. was among the headlining artists at the famous Vina del Mar International Song Festival in Vina del Mar slash Valparaiso, Chile, where she performed a live-streamed show for over 15,000 fans. On February 24, Carol G.'s album Manana Sara Benito was released, alongside the collaboration TQG with Shakira. The album peaked at number one on the Billboard 200 becoming the first-ever Spanish-language album by a female artist to debut at number one, while the collaboration achieved her highest-charting single on the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at seven. The project garnered seven nominations at the 24th Annual Latin Grammy Awards, winning three awards, including Album of the Year and Best Urban Music Album, while TQG won for Best Urban Fusion Slash Performance. At the upcoming 66th Annual Grammy Awards, the album received a nomination for Best Musica Urbana Album. In June 2023, Carol G signed with Interscope Records. On June 2, 2023, Carol G released Watati, a promotional single from Barbie the album, which featured the Panamanian reggaeton artist Aldo Ranks. The music video was released on 15 June 2023. Carol G released a song called S91 on July 13, 2023, along with a music video directed by Pedro Artola. On August 11, 2023, Carol G released a companion mixtape to Manana Sara Benito, called Manana Sara Benito, by Coda Season. It includes lead single S91 and a second single titled Me X Tania Raison released on the same day as its parent mixtape. The album includes collaborations with Peso Pluma, Cali Uchis, and Tiesto, among others. In 2024, 
She appeared in a recurring role in the Netflix miniseries Griselda, starring Sofia Vergara. Artistry Carol G's music has been described as predominantly reggaeton and Latin urban, with some Latin trap influences, however, she has experimented with a variety of other genres in her work. Her album Ocean features a wide range of stylistic experimentation. She collaborated with Brazilian duo Simone and Simaria on the Spanish-slash-Portuguese song La Vida Continuo, which contains influences from the genre of certain ejo. Carol G cites the global appeal of singers Rihanna, Beyoncé, Selena Quintanilla, and Shakira as major influences in her work and the level of global recognition she hopes to achieve with Rihanna being a dream collaboration. Carol G. has a tattoo of portraits of Rihanna and Quintanilla, along with her own face, on her right. Forearm additional influences include Daddy Yankee, Maluma, Rosalia, Gloria Trevi, Backstreet Boys, Christina Aguilera, Ivy Queen, Anae, Thalia, Spice Girls, Jerry Rivera, Bee Gees, and Red Hot Chili Peppers. Public Image a clean Luzmala Caraballo of Rolling Stone describes Carol G's style of dress as feminine and sexy, yet sporty, and tomboyish, but never, cutesy. Gary Suarez of Vice notes that in her music videos, she exudes a sex positivity that reflects a powerful diva image front and center, rather than the eye candy tropes often found in Urbano visuals. Carol G has a large LGBT following, and the singer expressed admiration for her gay fans by explaining. I love people who can go out into the world and be fearless, that's something I admire very much from that community. They have a beautiful energy. She declined to record Sin Piyama with Becky G, which would become a collaboration with Naughty Natasha and be a hit, because of a lyric about smoking marijuana in the song. Carol G, who does not smoke marijuana, felt that the song did not represent her true lifestyle, for her album Ocean, Carol G moved away from the polished image of the unstoppable album cover, with the artist explaining, I did the picture with no makeup, supernatural. Because that's the way I want people to listen to my music now. In 2020, Carol G's tweet about her dog's perfect color and citing it as an example of white and black looking beautiful together sparked controversy. She later admitted to have acted in an ignorant way at a time when Black Lives Matter had gripped America in 2020. Carol G. also admitted to have lost a lot of opportunities in her interview with The Guardian. Personal Life Carol G. met Puerto Rican rapper Annual AA in August 2018 on the set of the music video for their song Culpables, a month after his release from prison, I in January 2019, the couple confirmed their relationship. On April 25, 2019, Carol G. confirmed engagement to the rapper by appearing at the Billboard Latin Music Awards wearing a diamond wedding ring. On April 20, 2021, Annual AA confirmed that he and Carol G. had ended their relationship and engagement. As of early 2023, Carol G. has been linked to fellow Colombian singer Fade. On February 29, 2024, Carol G. On route in her Gulfstream 4 from Hollywood Burbank Airport to El Salvador International Airport for her Manana Sara Benito tour, made an emergency landing at Van Nuys Airport due to a report from the pilot of smoke in the cockpit. All 16 passengers on board the plane were evacuated safely, with no injuries.